there, this is going to be a general love reading for a uh, Libra. Hello, Libras. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as a cross watcher of the Libra. <clears throat> this is your August readings. I am slowly starting to chip away at the monthlies. This is August. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher of the Libra. <clears throat> All right, Libras, here we go. So what are we going to start with? Let's do the Tattoo Tarot deck first, okay? Let's start there and see what we got. This is Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, Cross Watchers. This is for August Spirit. What is the messages? Wow, very first card is the Ace of fucking Cups. Woo! Ace of Cups is new love. It's my cup runneth over. This is, you can actually see that on this, uh, this chalice, there's a big sun and it feels like something here is very much so connected to Leo season, which is in August. So for some of you guys, maybe you meet someone new in August. Maybe you fall in love in August. I don't know. Maybe this is also about falling in love with your damn self too, right? Because the Ace of Cups can be self-love. Mm, the Ten of Cups. I mean, your two freaking cards is the Ace of Cups and Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is that feeling of having it all. It's a fairy tale. I mean, not too shabby for your first two cards. Five of Wands. Of course, there's got to be some kind of friction. Friction and chaos now. Five of Wands. Competition. Friction. Chaos. This can also be self-sabotage. I have all of this wonderful fucking energy coming in. Let me go and fight it off and self-sabotage it. That could be it too. I mean, Libras, you guys are infamous, right? You and Virgos, top two signs to overthink. Are you going to overthink the shit out of this? Are you going to fight it off? Or is this also competition because when it rains, it pours? So for some of you, that's what this energy is about as well. It's when it rains, it pours. So competition is because you're meeting multiple different people and they're all really great options. Four of coins. Ace of swords. Eight of wands. Three of swords. Wow. Wow. It's, it's communication about something that really hurts somebody's feelings. It angers them. It hurts their feelings. There's some kind of communication. The communication here could also be that they, they find out you're dating someone else. Someone's dating someone. But, it, but the four of coins means it was a standstill. Nothing was offered. And because let's say, for example, for some of you, this person didn't offer to do anything with you, right? There wasn't no like fucking solid anything. So you end up meeting new people, someone new. They find out about this through conversation or however they find out. Now they feel hurt. Oh, well, too bad, so sad. But that's what this is. Someone here didn't offer anything. And now when competition arrives, they feel some type of way. Two of Wands. It's a breakthrough. The breakthrough is competition. Queen of Cups. Look at her. She's just like open and receptive. And she is in her feminine energy. And she knows she's the catch. She's not going to go and chase people. She, you know, she's, she's, mag she's magnetic. It's just like she knows it. And I think this thing here is all about, there's a breakthrough that comes because she is wanted by more than one. Many, dare I say. And here they all come. I mean, look at this fucker. You have the King of Swords and the King of Wands. You have multiple options. Okay? You also have Justice, and this is you guys. This is Libra. And then the Knight of Wands could be somebody here who is, you don't even know, could be like a secret freaking admirer. Look at him. He's like hiding under his damn mask. I mean, Christ, it's all, it's all of them. This is like how something about Mary. Remember how they all fucking was in love with Mary? This is like this summer I turned pretty. It's them all in love with you all of a sudden. You know what I mean? It's that kind of an energy. 
All of a sudden, someone is the prize. All of a sudden, someone is the it girl, the it boy. It's that kind of an energy of when it rains, it pours. There was nothing. There was no options. And then all of a sudden now, there's so many. There's too many. What do I do? Who do I choose? There is this energy also of, it feels like jealousy. <clears throat> Someone's jealous. Adoration. They feel some type of way. Surprise. You're going to be quite surprised to feel the sentimental and detached. Because this might be what someone had shown. They showed they didn't give a fuck. They showed they weren't attached to you at all. This is emotional detachment, meaning I am not feeling it, I'm not connected emotionally. There's no soul connection. That's what it was, or at least what was shown, right? And then come to find out the shock and fucking surprise is no, someone actually felt some kind of way. <clears throat> they did feel some kind of feelings. Endings and then empowerment. So because this didn't go nowhere, right? Landed on detachment. It was no, no energy, no connection, no nothing. Someone said, well, I'm going to empower myself and I'm going to move on from this and I'm going to... Love my fucking self. It reminds me of like in the summer I turned pretty when Belly tells Conrad, I'm not going to wait for you anymore. The end. I'm not waiting for you no more. Okay. You want to be like this? You don't give a fuck? Okay. That's fine. I love me more than I love you. I love you, but I love me more. Right. It's like that's what happened. And then all of a sudden the light bulb goes off. It's a light bulb moment here where it's like, wait a second, wait a second. You have improving health. Someone here could have been recuperating from something. They may have gotten hurt or sick. Okay, someone here is healing from, it's healing body, mind, or soul. That compromise, it's all, it's all Libra energies. It's all you guys. Look at the scales of justice. It's balance. <clears throat> You have you're ready. I feel like someone's finally ready for compromise. And they may have been very selfish, very unwilling to budge my way or the highway. And that's just not always going to work. You have yes with an exclamation mark. So it's like, yeah, definitely. Spirit's confirming that. Like, you know what? It's not always about that. Remember when we said earlier that in the summer I turned pretty, belly toed Conrad, I'm not waiting for you anymore. There's the card. There's something better. Not going to wait because I know there's something better. <clears throat> and you are being ridiculous. And this is silliness. And I'm not going to wait. And I, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. I'm not going to buy into this. You have the swans. <laughs> and the mountain. Obstacle. Cold. Right? Being distant. So someone here basically bullshitted. Do you see where we're going with this? Somebody here pretended they didn't give a fuck. They pretended they didn't have feelings. They pretended they just didn't care. And whether it's because it wasn't fully there, so, then, so the, what do they do about it? I don't know. Sorry about all that noise out there. I don't know what the fuck that is. Probably a moving truck or something. Um, but there's that feeling here of I was cold to you because I loved you, because I felt a connection. And I didn't do anything about it. Now that you, there's competition, now that you're dating or meeting other people, I'm jealous and now I want you. This is where we're at. That's what I'm feeling with this energy. You have the mask, I fucking just said that. It's like I'm psychic or something. They were pretending. They were cold, but they really didn't feel cold to you. They actually loved you. This is the whole thing here. This is what it is. Right? They, they concealed their feelings. And for some, it's just like they didn't want to even show the world a soft side of themselves. So it really wasn't personal. It was their own thing. They just didn't want to open up. You know what I mean? They don't want to be vulnerable in general. 
but now they're kind of forced to independence she says i'm leaving i'm walking away i'm not waiting anymore i'm going to live my best life i'm going to be really independent and go out there and just have fun you have reminiscing yeah maybe they're reminiscing on all the times that they could have would have and should have past life definite past life connection here between the two absolutely there's this underlying stranger i recognize vibe from the moment you guys met forbidden someone here refused to do it refused to have it be an option secret lover but they pined for it and wanted it anyway you know spellbound i mean yeah see this like nope forbidden nope but really secretly they want they want you they wanted you they've always wanted you you have new discovery that for some of them could be the new discovery and you know what for those that they didn't want you always that new discovery could be but i i realize i love you now i i see you differently i i see you now you know that kind of an energy it's very very eye awakening for them like uh i just didn't see it then but i see it now journey this could be that the person's on their way you haven't met yet. This is also someone here who travels. You have change. Someone could be moving. Moving or career change. And then we have pathway. A new option. A new direction. Whew, and sudden wealth, bitch. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Seven, seven, seven. Is it luck or alignment? Mm. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think about that? I don't know. Separation. Sadness and missing you. Don't know what you got till it's gone. Palm trees. Palm trees talks about stability, permanence, growth. They're open to this now, right? This is something solid and stable. You have the kisses card. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving, and affection. It also says falling in love. And then you have keys on a ring, which talks about many options. It's like exactly every fucking thing we just talked about in the reading. They're falling in love, if not from the moment they met you and always loved you and never showed it, or they're just realizing they fucking love you. You see what I mean? But also this keys on a ring, which is many options, is somehow a factor here. Maybe that's what causes them to come forward. Maybe that's what causes them to realize, hey, I love you too. I don't fucking know. Because that's going to be very different for each of you guys, okay? All right, we're going to get into this extended. If you want to rent it, you got to click more below this video. It's going to bring up all my links. First one will be to my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com. And it's going to be in the August extended section of my website uh, where the extended readings are. Now, also on my website, you may pre-order my newest bracelet, my Kali Ma bracelet. Gorgeous. Made with black obsidian. Blue kyanite. And you have that one red jade symbolizing Kali's tongue. Remember, all pre-orders take about four to six weeks to get to you after your purchase date. Um, and then also you have my Patreon link below which you probably want to follow me there too because that's the only place you can watch the extendeds for all of the special love collective readings I do on YouTube. But remember, rule of thumb is anything that is connected to each zodiac sign, those extendeds are almost always found on my website, okay? All the collective ones and the bonus timeless erotic readings and other readings are all on Patreon. Anyways, guys, let's get into your extended, okay? This is... Um, for Libra and Libra Cross Watchers. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions here on YouTube, and I'll see you there. Love you, bye.